A very good morning friends in this video we are going to discuss about the exams in which B form students are eligible first one of the thing I want to tell that the video is not about the exam that held for the government jobs or the pri uh, private organization this is a video is all about the higher education to get the admission into the PG so when we see B form MBBS BSc bachelor in physiotherapy homopathic or ayurveda all these are equal to graduation and when an exam held there are many of the exams in which there is only mentioned thing is that the person or the candidate should be graduate with a particular percentage of marks so that is written in the el eligibility criteria in which the mbbs student is also counted as, as an graduated student b form student is also uh, calculated as a graduate student so there are some exams which you can give for your higher studies this is a short video and I try to explain just the names here because uh, I just explained one by one some of the exams in this list are explained previously by me so first is the GPAT GPAT is for M form as we know that uh, held on I think in 28 January every year but GPAT is not a parameter for get a research project when you are preparing for a research project or getting a job you must go for the gate or you even uh, not able to qualify GPAT you can go for gate the subjects there are many subjects you can given especially in the life science so when in the previous time you see that there is no GPAT and only gate the pharma students are sit in the gate exams because there is no GPAT in that time so gate have more eligibilities in the research areas or getting the admission in the good institutes where GPAT is not applic as applicable as gate in the institutes so as the GPAT is held in January 28 uh, so the gate is held in the February month as you finished your GPAT exam the next exam is for you is gate its form is around uh, expelled out in septem uh, September or October I think and the change of center is come in the month of November and December and exam held in February around 5 to 10 dates February 4 to February 11 the gate exams will held so this is for an MTech and MSc but in this you can choose your subjects just like uh, uh, food technology pharmaceutical technology so these exams can help you the gate exam the most importantly is an msc that's open and wild field for you to choose your subject one thing i men i want to mention here when you choose mtech you will get scholarship as equal to gpet but when you uh, take admission in msc you will get 5000 scholarship per month so that is an another criteria but it opens an another option of MSc that is not in the case of GPAT so for me I think that an pharma student must go for the GPAT and then for the gate because uh, you see the syllabus of uh, life science so more of the subjects are just having the common topics that you studies in the B pharma next exam is CU set it is the exam for the central universities around seven or eight central un, uh, universities in India that conduct an exam in suicide I think it's form to be coming out in uh, one to two days so it is CU set exam it is for MSc and you can apply it for M form also or M tech also so these are the central universities it is in Punjab Rajasthan Haryana Odisha Chhattisgarh and Kavare uh, across the India I think the CU set exams there are more central universities you can go for MSc or M form if you are GPET qualified and then you apply for CU set you get the scholarship completely but if you get the admission only through the CU set exam then you are not able to get the scholarship so this exam is not for the scholarship but you if, uh, if but if you are GPET qualified and then you fill the form of CU set then you get the scholarship next exam is DUET that is for the Delhi University many of students have uh, filled the form for their graduation in Delhi University but doesn't get an admission so they 
and another option to get into the pg is for the if you give the exams for duet you can give in the life science you can give in the uh, biomedical sciences biotechnology so for msc you can given and there is good placement in the delhi university as we know that and good piece of learning you will get from there so duet is an another option for the b form students but they have to change their stream to the msc and get the related subjects uh, to the pharma next is the jnue double e that is for msc and mtech but for the mtech there are certain condition that are mentioned you can take in the browser so msc if you see jnu's msc you can be an surprising thing that an subject there in the jnu that is the molecular medicine that is completely related to the pharma students it's a msc in molecular medicine you can do msc in biotechnology msc in life science msc in environment microbiology so jnu have a wide scope for the pharma students especially in the molecular medicine but one thing i want to mention there there is an only 6 to 7 seats in the jnu in the msc molecular medicine department msc chemistry is also an option the students who are good at chemistry in the b form can go for the msc chemistry jnu double e here you don't get any scholarship but the placements are good so you can go for it bits hd exam it's for the birla institute of technology and science for m form and other courses i have uh, discussed the exam in an a previous video to bits exam you can apply for m form and other courses placements are good but fee is too high for the m form students met exam that is for the maniwal university so it is for m form and the other courses another university where fee is uh, high but you will get some scholarship uh, according to the bits and met exam next is the bhu pet that is the banaras hindu university exam for msc and mtech you are eligible for it you can apply for it even the mba course is also there in the bhu and pet so it is an important exam if you want to go to bhu iit next next is the iit jam exam the almost all the iits are in there it is for the msc and the integrated ps the specially mentioned subject in this for the pharma student i think is biotechnology they can go for msc biotechnology or integrated phd of 5 years it is a good exam having a good level of the questions in the iit jam exam gate b already i described it in a very explained manner on the channel for mtech and msc it is also in the field of biotechnology and some allied subjects like uh, genetics medical microbiology uh, and you will see that something like uh, subjects like food technology are also included here two more exams i want to mention there first is the aims exam for the msc pharmacology second is the pgi chandigarh exam for msc pharmacology so these are two important exam but there is an specificity for the students who are interested in the pharmacology so this, this is an list of exams that a student can eligible and continue if you see many of the students doesn't have qualified gpad then they can go for it for a good future if they are saying that going to the private college and doing an m form is not an any worth so they can go for du duet jnu double e iit jam gate b so these are some exams that can help them so i hope you like the video in the upcoming videos we are going to talk about the exams in and explanation type i hope you like the video you can press the subscribe button thank you so much and all the best